Whitney is with us tonight. Lauren, I know earlier there was some pretty heavy rainfalls out there still happening or kind of smoothing out a little bit. It just depends on where you are. Some areas it's passing through okay. and some areas it's still pouring pretty hard. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at what's going on outside for us. Northern Colorado, some areas are getting some pretty good showers and some lightning right now. Moving through parts of the high country down your Salida, we have some heavier rainfall, but all of the activity kind of south of the Denver area has broken up quite a bit. Still some rain out there, but not quite as heavy as it was as it makes its way to the south and to the east. But the high country still going pretty strong. As we head into Denver again, most of this is cleared out, even getting much lighter in El Paso County. Off to the west, though, there is still plenty of action. For the most part, Denver, we're probably done. However, there could still be a stray late night shower coming our way. We do have a flash flood watch in place through 10 o'clock tonight. The Grizzly Creek burn scar area is just uh, very, very prone to flash flooding and mudslides. So we're worried about that with that heavy rain moving on through. So future cast for tonight, we'll continue to see that heavy rain move out by tomorrow morning. Actually, some sunshine here in Denver, maybe a little touch of fog in parts of the foothills. And then we're looking at the chance of afternoon showers coming our way. So most of the day, Front Range Eastern Plains is uh, warmer, not too hot, but a little bit warmer and uh, ha should have some sunshine and a little bit of cloud cover. And then we see that chance for afternoon rain showers and thunderstorms to roll in once again, most likely after about two, three o'clock ish, start to see the chance for some rain, maybe a little bit earlier to the north. And then we could see some late night rain move through as well. So could get a couple rounds here in Denver and across the Front Range, some bigger thunderstorms possible out on the Eastern Plains. So we do have a severe weather outlook for tomorrow. Hail and wind would be our biggest threats from some of those storms that could fire up out in the eastern plains. Right now it's 68 in Denver. It feels weird to say 68 because we've been so hot. Yesterday we hit 68 as well. 50s, 60s out east, 60s, 50s in the high country. Tomorrow we warm up to 83 degrees. That's well below normal, but it's warmer than the last two days. 70s, 80s out east, 70s in the high country and across the front range, 84 in downtown Denver and Aurora, 83 in Brighton, 80 in Broomfield, 82 in Boulder, high country, a little bit uh, cooler, 75 in Blackhawk, 77 in Georgetown. Super seven day forecast, a normal day on Sunday with a high of 89. And then we spend next week with slightly warmer temperatures, but you're actually pretty close to where we should be and isolated storm chances. All right, Lauren, thank you so much.